Okay, we're here with Choices, the game I got. It's like a reading game. Okay, and we're gonna do... Elementus. Elementus is like a school for magical kids they got like magical powers and stuff you slap I slide the book back neatly onto the shelf while Becky goes to return the cup and do to his proper owl Then you gather your book things before leaving the library. Took you long enough. That's what Beck is. Quan is me. That's me, Quan. You can have your own person in there. Sorry, I had to. Were you waiting for me? But I always dark in. We live in the same building after all. Right. Suddenly, you feel the hair on the back of your neck stand up. You whip around and see the woman from early watching you from the shadows of one of the hallways. Her again? Who? He turns to look, but she's vanished down the hall without saying another word. You take off after her. Hey, wait. You tear down the hallway, following the tails of her skirt as it disappears around the corner. Come on, Beckett, keep up. You will around the corner, around a corner, just in time to see a door slam shut along the hallway. You swing the door open again, right on Be on Beckett, Beckett right on your heels, and up the hallway. Damn it. Rush forward, unwilling to give up, but the corridor stops, short until dead end. Where could she have gone? There's no exit. I don't think that's quite the case, said Beckett. He looked at the wall in front of you. His head caught thoughtfully to one side. The longer you stare at the wall, the more you feel it throbbing your temples. I feel it too. Something about this wall is weird. <coughs> I suspect there is a door here hidden by vis invisibility words. Or it's the only log logical explanation for this. Biggest is the wall and not decipher. Decisively, decisively, he presses his hands together. Slowly, the wall melts away, revealing a door in plain sight. Beckett, you genius. What would I have done without you? He ran out of the door now, but it stays for a move without your glance. Back at back, who puts his hands up? Don't look at me. I am certainly not helping you break into a lot room. But we're so close. I need to know why this woman following me. She might have answers about some stuff I need to know. That's not my problem. Why should I break in? The rules just for you. Oh, and also I can make my own choices and say my own things. Um... Don't you want to know who we were chasing and, and aren't you just a little bit curious about why there's a hidden door here? The door 
it's probably hidden for a reason. But I will admit my curiosity has been piqued. Exactly how are you gonna sleep to get some sleep? get to sleep tonight knowing you walked away from her mystery. Oh lay it lay off it. I'll get some sleep just for make his eyes though he still eyes the door thoughtfully. He curls his hands into fists, then presses his knuckles together. Together he takes a deep breath, exhales and taps two fingers on the doorknob. That should do it. The door unlocks with a soft click. Yes, thank you. Don't mention it. Seriously, let's never speak of this again. You gently press a hand to the door, bracing yourself for what's to come. There goes nothing. You tense as you push the door wide open, ready to comfort, confront whatever is on the other side. Step in. But the woman is nowhere to be seen. Crap, she's gone. Your gaze sweeps the room, searching. You take in the boxes and shelves, overflowing with colorful knickknacks. Whoa, is that a genie lamp? And is that a scrub beetle? What is this? I had no idea this room was here. It's not on any of the school's published skin to chem- schematics. You step further into the room and suddenly step over a bag lying in the middle of the floor. Inside, it is shimmery, cl- crystalline, shard, an array of multicolored pens. What appears to be a long, curved bone. And at the very bottom, under all the color, an old photograph torn in half. The colors of the photograph are faded with tone. You can just barely make out the image. A man created a baby in his arms. You peer closer and realize the baby has a sun shape birthmark on their shoulder just like you. This it's a picture of me. That's freaky, that's a picture of me. So that that lady that was following me must be my mom. This is getting crazy. Okay, bye bye guys. I'm gonna read another um book another time, and this is gonna be called um re- um audio reading with hosting Jack Jacqueline Hawkins. Audio books, no audio books hosting. Audiobooks hosting Jack One Hawkins, yeah. Bye bye, guys. See you later.